Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Slippy and Thrifty Show. We have a guest host today. He's uh, diminutive, sexy, and he's <laughs> from the land of the leprechaun. Welcome all to the show. Judd, how are you, sir? Justin? I am absolutely delighted to be here, although, honestly, I, I'm, uh, the abuse I've been getting so far, and we haven't even started in the chat, is just... Well, I, I can't say that I'm surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. Do you mean do you mean from me or do you mean from the chat? Have you been? Oh no, I'm talking from the chat. You sir are ah, a Texan okay. gentleman as always. Okay, okay. I mean, I thought you might be offended by the uh, topic today. Uh, Why is that? But I, I just thought it was a theme. It was a good theme, right? What is it? What is the <laughs> topic today? Why don't you go ahead and fill us in on what the topic is today, Judd? Well, the topic. TK is is something that is is very near and dear to my heart, which is small knives, um, specifically to vertically challenged people. It, uh, small knives are, are are something that we <laughs> that are very dear to us. So hopefully we're going to see some nice ones. And uh, I'm I'm inter I'm really interested in seeing what you've got, because as you know, I'm more of a Swiss Army and and even I suppose modern than a traditional kind of guy, and and uh, it'll be interesting to see what you've got got on offer. Even the definition of what is this? What 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 are we talking about with a small knife here? To, uh, today? Yeah, so we kind of debated on what what was the maximum small size. Uh, that was kind of our debate. Like, where does that start? And there's probably a better definition. I'm sure if I went and read the Levin's guide with more. Uh, consideration i would come up with the figure but i just decided for the purpose of being able to include a couple of knives that i wanted to include today that three and a quarter was a good cutoff point so anything three and a quarter and smaller up no, to I... well actually there's actually probably a minimum too as well we didn't really consider that but once you start getting into the minis i feel like uh there's an actual different category for those as well but i don't think we ran into the i don't even really have maybe too minis anyway so that wasn't really too much of a concern but yeah well when you get it when you get into those as well john i mean are they even knives yeah or, they start really, are they like really point, pointy shards of stuff i mean <laughs> i mean they're like two finger carries <laughs> yeah exactly exactly i suppose i suppose we should do we should do a kind of um uh, European balance here, and, and, and I mean, when you're th saying three and a quarter, while well, right. well, well, there is there is a, a good imperial kind of commonality amongst us. It's anything yeah. probably 84, 85 millimeters. But we're, we're probably we're we're working at today is yeah. pretty much our ballpark. I, I would say eighty five, just so we can include the the the, the vingers. Yeah, absolutely. So eighty five millimeter, three and a quarter, pretty close to about to the same. You're talking millimeters difference probably absolutely absolutely just to keep you in the loop though uh, john um slippy is is absolutely delighted that is uh that his reception or signal is, is starting to fail so he can't actually hear us uh <laughs> so but it, it works it, it, it works uh both ways although he is making uh, making wise with the cracks about uh, our matching hats just well, because he doesn't have the respect to to to, to show you, <laughs> this was totally his choice here. He was gonna <laughs> do something to try to imitate you, Slippy. I couldn't instead... find a ponytail. <laughs> I couldn't find a ponytail. <laughs> he probably doesn't even own a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> now you do, but he's too class for t-shirt. So he's got his. It's plaid on today, but he had to he had to wear something to match me, so we got the red hats. Ding, ding. Well, so I remember you wearing that uh, at the show. Was that the same yep. hat, or is that a different? Absolutely, hat? it is the shit oh, same. Oh, it's hat. a Victorinox, and Look it's a Victorinox you. hat. Yeah. Totes. Look at you. Do you have a Victorinox watch too? No, oh no, God, no, no. I, d I don't have that much money to spend on watches. That will start a whole new, uh, a whole new. Are they particularly obsession. expensive? I don't. I don't want to go down that uh, rabbit hole, TK. Thank you very much. Yeah. Watches. Are they expensive? They must be, I guess. Victorinox watches. Uh, you can get some older sort of aviator watches that are a little bit cheaper, but yeah, they start at three, four hundred dollars okay. quid, whatever you want to, uh, uh, and then they go steadily up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not into the watch thing. I've never really much been into jewelry, period. So I've never really explored it that much. But I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the fine craftsmanship that's required to make them and the, just watching people that work on them. Uh, there's some fascinating YouTube channels out there that do that sort of thing. And very much, just, yeah. Uh, very much in admiration of the people that can that can work on those and have all the little tools and that's just to me really cool. So I do mm-hmm. enjoy watching those types of channels. Yeah. But uh yeah, I'd never been into the collecting. Um there was a fellow uh I don't know if you remember have you ever watched the Shark Tank? No, not particularly, no. Okay. So that's basically like one of those shows where they bring in the people for business propositions. Dragon Stan. Then... Dragon Stan is the equivalent okay. over here. There you go. So there's a guy on there, and his name is escaping me, but he has a knife collection, and he's quite he's quite wealthy. Ooh. He has a, just a massive collection of knives. Um, can't think of his name. I'm sure somebody in the in the comments will let us know. Yeah, he's the balding fella. Oh, I can't think of it. Anyway, I think a lot of people know who I'm talking about. But anyway, he's he's got a great collection of watches but today i thought we would take a look at not only victorinox stuff but also some of the smaller old timers that i have also uh some of the vangers but got a couple of more unusual 58 millimeters that i'll show so why don't you go ahead and kick it off with whatever you want to kick it off with and then i'll i'll uh i'll follow suit Okay, okay. Well, I don't. I suppose. I, my opinion. I don't suppose you can talk about small knives, and uh, unless you talk about the fifty-eight millimeter from Victorian Ox, and in this case, I've gone for a green Alox Mini Champ, um, which is just superb. It's just a lovely wee. Fifth, now fifth there's some advertising there. on that one, or is that? Uh... Yeah, it's uh, well, it's. I think it's it's the branding for a specific sw- shop in Switzerland that deals in these, as the Edelweiss shop, and they're a specialist in Victorinox, as far as I know. Um, and a guy on one of the forums here did a, a special order for us, and got this one through. So, the I mean the the Mini Champ. To be honest, the Mini Champ is my, actually my favorite fifty eight, but. The the Alox model is just you have to have it in your collection and it's a lovely little thing to carry um in your fifth pocket. It's just so solid and it's got a load of tools. Um remember my last rant I went on, uh, John, when uh, when I was talking about redundancy and EDC kits and everything like that? Yeah. That, that's my problem with the mini champ, is that it's got too many things on it that 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 are already there, you know. Right. So it's yeah. got about two or three different cutting blades that you don't really need in a small knife. And that's why I tend to think, I, I think the Rambler uh, is a, or the manager is a better, is a better 58 mil, uh, millimeter model. But I mean, why, how can, you cannot, you, you can't not love the mini champ. It's just lovely. So that's no, my I, first I, offering anyway. Well, let me ask about the color of that though. Is that like, you said that was an exclusive color offered, but is that um, been replicated in other, Alox knives that you've seen. Or is it, just uh, it is indeed. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. So, if you go to the night cam, you probably see you probably be able to see a matching pair. Let's see. Hang on. So there's a pioneer beside okay. it. Yeah, yeah. So that is the dark green that I've yeah. seen before. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little so, tough to see on your uh, regular cam, but it looked a little lighter than that. But now I see it. Yeah. It is. It's it's that quite dark. Um, you know, it's even darker than olive green, I think. So it's the it's, forest green, I guess you could. Yeah. Well, beautifully put. Yeah. British racing green, if you want to go that far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lotus, Lotus green, maybe. Yeah. No, that would be. Or there you go. Yeah. And yeah, it's a, it's okay. a great it's a great little pairing those two so yeah. And then the one on the left is ninety one millimeter, correct? So ninety three, ninety three, okay, ninety three. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah, Alox yeah. were just two millimeters bigger than right. the Salvador ones. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So that's my first offering anyway. 
PK, what have you got for us? Okay, so I got. I'm gonna start off with a really unusual one. Now, this is um, this is not one you see every day. This is called the Tomo. T O M O. This was a Japanese designer and, and inspired to be like the classic, but with more Japanese styling. I always thought this one kind of looked like a block of cheese. Um, sort of that nice yellow color. I mean, as far as yellows go, that's kind of like the, about the best shade for me. Not a huge fan of yellow as a color in general, but this particular shade I like. Yeah. Banana yellow. And it's just got the exact same blades as the classic have. And you do actually get the pointed file rather than the screwdriver tip on it. So it's kind of such a weird knife. It really is. But uh, I think it, it just kind of fits to that Japanese styling, you know, they're always yeah. more geometric. Um, they only always insist on going their own way as well. That's for sure. Yeah. An unusual one. I have I have seen some pictures. I haven't seen seen, seen the model itself, but I have seen some pictures of them, you know, really air, elegant variations with sort of tortoise shell handles and things like that that are that are quite nice. They even want <coughs> some fairly unique packaging. Uh, Good grief. very environmentally friendly, right? Wow. And the just it's just a <coughs> just opens up into a uh, very nice. Yeah. So yeah, at least they're trying. <laughs> yeah. And there's actually a little yellow rubber band that uh you can see the little groove here at the top uh -huh. at the bottom. They just I'm sorry, it's on the sides actually. See the yeah. sides there. Where'd you pick that one up? John? Uh where did I get that? I got this at Blade Matrix, kind of a smaller little online outfit here in the United States. Cool. But they had they had some older stuff that I picked up, but uh, didn't have to pay you know like a premium price, a secondary market kind of thing. So that was kind of nice. Excellent. But all right, so I think I've got maybe more than you. So I'll go ahead and go again here. Okay. This one I've already done a review of recently. This is the yeah. Emerald Rover. It's a really nice little set, and that it really is lovely. Little green dog. Right. Yeah. The green dog. And of course, what makes this one special is it has the older style. Yeah. Flat tip screwdriver blade. Now they've gone to the uh, the Phillips, right, with the magnetic tip, and uh, you can use that. But I, this is probably not as useful, actually. That there one. There you go. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I, I, although that one is really nice, I used to I I had a vagabond, which is a variation on the rover. It's sort of a, a an extra layer on it, and it has a couple of extra blades, just just short or shy of the the mini champ. Um, and I went camping and lost it, and I only had the knife about a week. Oh no, you know, yeah. And there's yeah. another thing that makes this one special. This this is a little different version of the rover with the yeah. trach blade. Yeah, so, that's the emergency yeah. warrant cliff. Yeah, I never realized actually when I was watching your review, I never realized that it was called the that it was actually a tracheostomy blade or or whatever yeah. for allegedly for it's, emergency it's procedures. Weird how they never really mention that, and then until you see the packaging and it has it on the side of the box, yeah. right? But, I mean, it's uh, not even. I don't even think they use they, they use that terminology on the sack wiki. You know, it's just the emergency right. blade. The emergency but blades. Then, what it. It's more commonly known as, yeah. Yeah, but then, but then on the packaging itself, it tells you exactly which emergency it's for work, you know? <laughs> <Right>. so exactly. <laughs> so interesting on that, but uh, yeah, very, uh, what would you say? I, they've offered this, but I wouldn't call it rare, but it's an uncommon color, would you say? Would that be It accurate? definitely is. I had yeah. one, but it was, it was an older one, a signature that I just gave away this week, it funnily enough. Um, uh, so it's, it's one of those, it's, it, it is one of those colors that comes up every now and again. So Kathleen, I was just going to ask your question here is, uh, it just was, a uh, one of those situations where I came across, uh, a, their web page and they're about to go out of business. They're kind of discontinuing all their stuff. So they're selling some of their 
old stock and uh, just happened to find that stuff. But it's pretty tough to find um, the older stuff unless you get on secondary market. But the newer stuff, you know, being sold new from retailers, pretty rare to find you know, the older stuff. Yeah. Just, but a lot of searching, a lot of hunting. I mean, there's not uh, really anything special about it. I know. I mean, Victorian Ox still go quite well on eBay, I think, um, except not so much in the UK, but in other places in Europe. And uh, mm -hmm. even even now in the UK, you can, there are still a number of Facebook um, groups that specialize in Victorian Ox and, and they would they would sell quite a few. And every now and again, you get the older older models or the discontinued models coming up. Um, but uh, they get snapped up very, very quickly because they're such good value. Even when they're, you know, they're overpriced as collectibles, you know. Right. Uh, oh, Jesse's kicking off again. Is it going with the uh, DJ theme here? That boy, I tell you, he needs uh, he needs further entertainment. Apparently, just talking about knives isn't enough. He needs the DJ noises and the applause. Well, he has to do something to earn it first. Uh, TK has to do something to earn it. And yeah. complaining that my my the we in we Judd has been diplomatically and I can I just say respectfully left unsaid or unwritten. I I, I mean I I mean I, I, it's not so much a travesty, Jesse, as a as a very uh, complimentary. It's a compliment I'm taking as you know. So right. thanks, DK. <laughs> so I must talk about that a minute because like we have our own definitions of the words that you guys use there and. So maybe just clarify what we means in your wonderful part of the world. Well, we it's, is definitely a, it's, uh, it's, hmm, yeah. It's just a, a colloquialism, right? It's not really but anything. It is definitely, it is definitely a colloquialism, but it is a, an adjective of size. Okay. Okay. So it's, uh, so it's a, it's, it's a qualifier. So it, it, it can mean small. Um, but it can also mean normal or would you, cause I, I put, put it this way, the standard expression in, in, in Ireland or, or Northern Ireland or the UK is, would you like a wee cup of tea? Okay. A wee cup of tea. It's got nothing to do with the size of the cup of tea. It's a normal size of, cu of a cup of tea, but it's always a wee cup of tea. So it's not just dim and a, a diminutive uh, adjective. It's also a, what and, and what would you say it's it's a this sort of oh i can't even remember the word for some reason i can remember the word in spanish but i can't remember, I can't remember what's anything. the word in spanish i'll help you drink cariñoso. Uh, cariñoso. Cariñoso. Okay. Right. <laughs> so yeah there's not really a literal translation for that no so it, it, it's 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 that, that kind of thing that you would uh, say to your kids you know it's, right. it's uh, just it, an it's, endearment and then that's the word, an endearment. Very good. See, TK, you you bring the learning. Well done. <laughs> and but, yeah. So rather yeah. than just something saying something that it just adds a little bit more affection to whatever it is that you're that's describing. It. Yeah. That's it exactly. Yeah. So uh applying it to me is definitely in terms of the size thing, but also in terms of the of the reflection of my sweetness of character. And the the fact that everybody loves me. I mean, what boy, what else can boy, you ask for? Boy, you've done a fantastic job of fooling <laughs> everybody. <laughs> the on air persona. <laughs> you know. Whoop! I'm on air. Whoop! I'm on air. <laughs> right, it, it is funny. It's, it's really funny when you get coming on to your show. I've slipped right into that jackass category immediately, haven't I? <laughs> uh yeah you have you have 100 all right what other knives you got for us now that we know okay. what, what we means uh well we'll stick with the 58 millimeter and, and it's probably everybody will complain now because it's not really a knife but it's one i'm interested in because i'm going away soon and i know slippy's traveling so this is one for him so it's another 58 millimeter here we are i want you to answer randy's question there first before you get into that is the mini mini champ your largest small knife Hmm. No, um, no, not by any means, because we're going to be working up the scale here. It's probably one of the, the 58 mils are the smallest small knives. Yeah, it kind of depends on what he means by small, because in length, no, but in like maybe width, possibly, possibly. Yeah, yes, it's yeah, 
that, that sort of breadth kind of thing. Yeah. Right. But yeah. but it, but even it's smaller than I have a a Leatherman. Oh God, can't even remember what the leather. You know the wee tiny Leatherman, is it the PK or the. I'm not a massive yeah. Leatherman fan, so I don't know the names. But yeah, and it's, a, it's it's just a little bit bigger than the 58 mil. It's right. uh, the to sort of encompass the 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 pliers okay. and everything, and it's it's a nice size too. Um, but that would probably be the slightly bigger size of that of those ones anyway. But anyway, jet setter. Uh, I particularly like this one because it's it doesn't have a blade, and I'm really interested to see if this one gets through customs. You know, at security. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So, because that it's, was the intent of the knife. Yeah, because all it's got is the scissors and the combi tool. Okay. Now, was that introduced after 9-11? It's a good question. I've always know. wondered about that. I don't know. I must go back and, uh, and see the introductory year. It might be worth yeah. checking out, actually. There, there, there have been several versions of it. So there, there's the Jet Setter 1, 2, and this is the 3, but this is the only other version. And then there were set, several special versions that Apple commissioned that also had memory chip uh, memory cards in them or oh, okay. usb right. sticks right. built into them um you know because apple have to be special but the the additional thing that the apple ones did put onto it was the pen so you know the one that's available on the signature and the manager you want to show that down on the cam yeah sure so on this one what you've actually got are the slidey retractable pen right bang and it's what what i did with it was i mean it doesn't come normally with the pen but i had an, uh, an extra set of pen scales floating around and just added it in so it, it worked quite nicely so they're just scale dependent then that's, that's yeah. the only thing you need okay so all i've got left then is the two uh, or the pl uh, the tweezers actually nice um instead the, of, uh nice sacrifice color, the, the red tweezers i like that i've actually got some of those myself i should use yeah. nice i quite i quite like i quite like putting the red tweezers on red and the black on black it's it it works quite nicely in terms of the the look of them it, it's almost it fills in the, the gap that the the normal sort of those ivory and gray uh little right. bits for the for the the um scale tools do so yeah, yeah no i yeah. quite like it well yeah, Gary says the TSA is going to take it away. They did. They, they, oh, he, they took his. They didn't uh, care about the blade. So it's staying at home, Gary. But thanks for the tip. I really didn't want to lose it, but I thought it might be worth the risk. So. Yeah, well, that's good to know, though. So I got a question here from Dave. It says, "When did Slippy start actually looking and sounding like a man?" Well, that, that's when his uh, particulars dropped last week, wasn't it? I think he means you. <laughs> It's when I cut my hair. It's when I when I cut my hair, Toad. It was uh, it uh, everything should just sort of start to can't fell into place when I cut no. my hair. So you got to monetize that. Though. You got to monetize that though, Judd. If you cut your hair, <laughs> your ponytail, you got to put that on screen, right? You can't yeah. just let that go by the wayside and end up in the bin without um, filming it. You could make. Yeah, I don't know. You could make make another presenter with that. For goodness' sake, uh, <laughs> come on, be a marketer for crying out loud here. <laughs> But now, okay, so my next knife, you kind of stole my thunder here. Oh, what did you go for? I have the actual signature. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but it, it's in the crystal scales. Again, you've got a nice, yeah, yeah. You've, you've got a nice collection of those, the, the translucent scales. They're beautiful, though. Yeah, they are really nice. And uh, it doesn't have the screwdriver blade thingy. It's just got your standard set here. Oh, is this before the SD set? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like the SD set. Or regular set. Sorry. Yeah. So your regular blade. Oh, I guess it does have the SD. My bad. So there you oh, go. Oh, it does. Yeah. But Very then, neat. again, like you had, just has the uh, little slide out scales. I, I cannot. Out of the way. I cannot tell you how useful that pen is. It's ludicrously useful for such a tiny wee thing. Yeah, and it fits in your paint handle quite a bit better yeah. than having 
having just the little stick yeah. that comes out the the, the yeah. pin option on the uh, on the what do you call them the compact scales I don't on know yeah on the plus scales, scales yeah plus scales there there you go plus scales that's what I was trying to think of and then you can actually just put the put the uh, screwdriver out to give you a little bit more length yeah that's true in the yeah in the pan if need be so yeah it's pretty useful nice to have a pin on you at all times and i, I guess agree. if you carry this you know because typically i'll carry something like this you know you could get away with not having the pin if you didn't want to yeah so. very true well if you used it if you if you were using it as a sort of fifth pocket contingent backup right something like that would be really really good to have you know and even if you're thinking about sort of all of those little eventualities you need to cover for. So we're, we always talk about, um, aren't you supposed to be in work at work in the tree making cookies? No, 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 no. One, they never let me climb because I can't reach the lower branches. And two, I always spoil the recipe because I'm no good at baking. No, they make me dig, Jesse. They make me dig. I thought you worked at a, Thought you were in the work toy shop. I I used to be, but then there was that whole whole harassment issue that 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 they they they, they stopped. Uh, I had to leave, but we won't talk about that now, TK. Okay? Affirmative action, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what was I even talking about? You see, he did it again. He gave you the right he destroyed you. completely. <laughs> I knew that would throw your wheels. All right. <laughs> Who's up next? What are we up next? That's what he's referring to. That's where the tree comes in. Okay. <laughs> Once he's up in the tree, he doesn't get out. How is he going to? Yeah. Have you seen Randy's comment? Oh dear. <laughs> I was misunderstood, Randy. You and I both know that. <laughs> oh dear. They're about the same height, so maybe he thought they had more in common than Santa. And... <laughs> okay. Uh, I was a ditch digger for years. I'm not sure what that means, but thanks, Frank. <laughs> Uh, it probably means he was a ditch digger. Yeah. <laughs> but where does that fit in with what our topic is? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I think we went off off topic in the comments a long time okay. ago. <laughs> sure, it's another nice DK just just to keep this rule. Oh, I no, just want to do you do you have your you have your cupboard back behind you there? Could you show us your collection of striped tights, please? Oh yeah, the striped tights. No. <laughs> Only Mrs. Claus gets to look at me and, and my tights if you if you if you don't mind. <laughs> to that, oh. this wee bit been been chip banished to the yeah, mighty. Don't laugh the about the mighty. Mines, don't ma laugh about the salt mines, Toad. That's hard work. That is hard work. Although I'm getting near to retirement, <laughs> another three hundred years, and I'll be done. <laughs> Are you standing anyway. or sitting, Jud? They want to know. How many times do I have to tell you, John? I'm, <laughs> I'm always standing. <laughs> oh, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, so oh, sorry, it's my right, and I'm 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 going on. So we've been talking about classics and variations on the classic in the 58 millimeter, and I was telling John earlier that I really have I don't I don't do the classic. I don't even have a classic in my collection, and not having a classic SD or Victorian or classic SD in a in a collection of Swiss Army knives seems like sacrilege. But it just doesn't do anything for me. I've never found a use for them. Whereas the other 58 millimeters with the other tools is de are definitely more practical. So, but this is a ver version of the classic that I can really get behind. This is 74 millimeters. So you can see the difference in size already between that and the 58. It's considerable, but it's exactly the same tool set as the classic. So you've got the, the pen blade, which is bigger. You've got the file which is a little bit bigger and then you've got the scissors which are considerably bigger okay and yes i was commenting earlier i really need to clean these knives they're picking but there you go 
okay now I, the beauty about the 74 millimeter is it we're getting a little bit bigger but it still fits in your fifth pocket and the size of these tools are absolutely perfect they're a little bit bigger than the ones in the 58 millimeter but the difference it makes is nothing ordinary it's it's it, it's something special so rather than have a classic i would much prefer to have an ambassador and the problem being that the ambassador of course has been discontinued as has it's all the 74 millimeter. it's it's brother the 70 uh, the 74 millimeter executive now this is this is me just showing off now because this is the the shiny version of the executive which is the director it's got sort of uh sort of milled stainless steel scales no key ring but exactly no the logo same why no set. logo that's insane isn't that pretty that, yeah that's crazy i don't think i've ever seen one without a logo yeah no logo at all yeah so you got your yeah because one. usually often they would be would have been used as advertising knives you're quite right uh, yeah. but uh, but not even the swiss army knife logo either and again it's just a it's just a crack and we tool set with the executive Again, there's a wee bit of redundancy in it, and that there are way too many knives that you probably won't need. But the scissors are just fantastic, and this tool, this file and cuticle pusher and everything on this one is just excellent. It really is very good indeed. Pokey pokey, as Stassa would say. But now, what, what those are two lovely. The seventy-four millimeter are just beautiful. What model was that again? The um, uh, the executive. Okay. Sorry, the director. It's the it's the stainless steel version of the executive. So the ambassador and the director. Okay. Yeah. Well, once again, I have something very similar. And that would be the executive. It is a cracker, isn't it? Oh, I love those scales. Are they that's that the Olympics? Correct. Atlanta. Atlanta, 1996. Six, I'll be damned. Now, this is the one where we had the bomb, if you'll recall. That's right, yeah. Um, But this is one of their official, you know, releases. They had about four total, I want to say, and they had two in the 58 millimeter size and two in the larger executive size. 70, you said 75, correct? 75. 74. Millimeters. 74. 74 millimeter. There but what's a millimeter between France? Although yeah, I, could right. do with all the, I could do with all the millimeters I can get, I suppose. Now, the thing I always liked about the kind of the official <coughs> Swiss Army knife uh, releases where they were official, like, differentiated releases, where they aren't just some, some like, third party saying, hey, can could you make one with my logo on it? They actually put the main logo on the on the show side of the knife. And you'll notice that's where the the gray tweezers are. And then on the back they will still put the logo. Oh right, yeah. Right. So those kind of give you a little more officiality, I guess. I kinda of like yeah. prefer those over just your standard advertising knives. Yeah, that but replace the, uh, one with the other. Yeah, you got that same blade that you showed. Only yours is cleaner than mine. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. So come all the same thing there. Yeah, orange peeler is extremely useful for opening packages. If you've ever tried to do <clears> that, it really is. It's also also acts as a good wee screwdriver if you're not if you're not too forceful with it. And again, you get the the larger scissors, which are just like you said, just a little bit more useful than the the classic size. Yeah. And you can see this is an older one; it's got the screw there. Um, they've gone to a uh, pressed pivot pin. That's right. Yeah. And they had the uh, screw there still on the old ones. Oh, look at so, you. Yeah, from 96. And my wife, I got to get credit to her. She's the one that found that for me. Wow. So it comes in the, uh, you know, the little gift box and it's got the logo on it too. Oh, well, take it from me, TK. That's a woman worth keeping. Yeah. She got some kudos for that. Damn right. And then you got the hologram thing, you know. Yeah, very cool. 
pretty cool. That's a, that's a nice, lovely little collector's piece of the yeah, whole package, actually. Really nice. So I was really happy and pleased with that. Here's a, here's another wee thing that it, and I, I mean we're coming on to my last pick as well, but it's it's a good I think it's a good point for the seventy four mils even above the fifty eight mils. It's the slimness of the knives are just so pocketable, and even I think a seventy four millimeter knife is the perfect knife to put into a wallet. You know, oh, it's wallet, it, huh? Okay. Yeah, it just it just slips into especially if it's just a single one. If you the ambassador just slips into a wallet, even if it's just a credit card holder wallet, and it sits there and you, you know you don't even know what it is. Wow, Cheeto! Thank you so much, Cheeto. You gifted uh, five memberships and Marco Radar. Uh, looks like Toad, Jesse McJames, and Dwayne Letterman, all recipients of your wonderful contribution there. So thank you very much, Cheeto. Appreciate that very much, sir. That's amazing. Thank you, Cheetah. Thank you, sir. And Randy's going nuts with the jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. He is. Uh, yeah, he just, I don't know. I mean, if if you really, really want to just keep things simple and slim and you don't want to use a slip and, the, and you're using your, I use my fit pocket. Um, you know, I have jeans that I intentionally buy when I when I buy them now after being a collector that I make sure to have in, include the fifth pocket because not all of them do. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's like my winter style carry. I always carry the fifth pocket um, in the winter time when it's cooler. Being here, you don't want to wear jeans all year yeah. round. You just don't. <laughs> but uh, I guess you I don't know. You could probably get away with it there, I imagine. Um, oh yeah, uh, I mean, there's not much difference between winter and the seasons here. And, uh, you know, temperature goes up a week. Although I don't know, climate change is probably going to we're, we're going to get some of it if we're getting great white sharks over here. We're going to be getting. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, apparently, I mean, that's the latest conspiracy or or threat or whatever it is. So okay. you know, you never know. All right, but I've got a couple other, and like I said, I think three and a quarter was like my top size for what I would consider to be fifth pocket carryable. Um, we also discussed this before, like I'm a six foot even, so I probably have a little larger pants pockets than maybe the average person. But um, there's a three and a quarter inch carry that I really like. It's Is the that the Imperial Stockman? The Imperial Frontier series that was made by Camillus. So a little higher quality than your typical Imperial, right? And this is got yeah, carbon blades. Cool. And it's got the old ivory scales on this one. Oh, nice. Uh, re really fortunate to find a good example of this one. Uh, just a terrific stockman. Really appreciate the quality that these are, are made with. And I like that they have, you know, the Delrin scales. So you, or handles, sorry. Some people don't think I should say scales when I talk about a traditional knife. But the Delrin handles because you know if you do drop that or if you're a little rough with it or if you have to lend it out it's not like a massive thing to have yeah. to worry about and uh, you can carry that every day just it's fantastic really i actually saw i uh, actually watched your video on the, your restoration of that old imperial stuff uh, yeah i think i yeah. actually have that one here it was a fantastic job you did on that appreciate that yeah, here we go. He's talking about this guy right here, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, because that was that was bleached white. Originally. Yeah, it was bad. It was ugly. It, it was right. ugly. Now it's not perfect. You still got some chips at the edges there, yeah. but you know the did scales kind of glued back on there, and it's it's got did just the a epoxy, touch. Did, did, did the epoxy actually work to fill in some of the voids, or were you just using it to stick them just, back? There? Yeah, just to get that handle from like flopping around, it was like coming loose from one edge there at the bolster. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, I mean the blades looked like they were in really good shape. It was just the handle was horrible. Yeah. So I thought you know that would be a good candidate to try to restore because you can make it into a user. Definitely. So, yeah, it's nice, nice and sharp now. I got it. Got it nice and sharp. I didn't show that in the the review, but yeah, I sharpened that. That's that's a definite carry now. But uh, yeah, yeah all those game. frontier knives, they they've all been fantastic. You know, I just I really like. I mean, that's a series of older knives that I really feel like is really good value, even on the secondary market. I mean, you're getting a lot for your money when you get these. 
Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ella. I'll be talking more about those in the future. Just going to do a video on kind of breaking those down a little more. But here's another little smaller knife. Again, oh, one of my... we were about you in old timer, weren't we? Yeah, we were doing old timer. Um, the USA made ones, the smaller ones, just some of my favorite fifth pocket knives. They're just so fantastic. Great snap on them. And just that great classic feel and look to them. Love the way that they do the bolsters on these rounded ones. Just think they're yeah. elegant, very, very well done. And just the, the snap on these little guys is amazing. Yeah. It's very just, cool. Now, this one is the Minute Man. This is the uh, two bladed one. And I always tease Slippy. I call him the Minute Man. <laughs> I know, but you're flattering them there. <laughs> Might be more like 30-second, man. <laughs> Again, I don't think we're in any position to judge. Um, it's, uh, but, no, well, not from experience, anyway. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, just a fantastic little pin knife. And yeah, tell me it, this, again, if you don't mind the question. If you sure. could, because I don't have any old-timers. Uh -huh. So if I was going to buy any old-timer, which one would you recommend that I get? Well, I guess the first question I'd have to ask to qualify would be like, what size do you want? Because they mid size, very... not small, not low, not not over oh, large. Okay, mid size, I would say the thirty four OT. Thirty four OT. And the reason being is like you know that's going to be like one of your more affordable options because they made so many of them that they're popular and um, even the like the American made ones you can get for for a really good price because they're just so plentiful. Yeah. And then when you get into like the more specialty other sizes or other versions in that same price range, you pay a little more. So I think for your best for your buck, 34 OT in the midsize. Yeah. yeah but okay. this is the, uh, the junior, this is the smaller version of like, eh, a little different than the 34 OT, but this is the, there's a senior and then there's the junior and this is the smaller version of the senior. This is the 108 OT. And it's the same frame as the one I just showed you. Just got the Stockman styling to it, so it's got the three blades. What size, so, comparatively, what size is that going to be, say, compared to like an, an 85 millimeter Vang or the 74 millimeter um, uh, Executive? What size is that going to be? I'll give you a, let's try to hold on to both of these at the same time here. Right, so it's considerably smaller. So yeah, so it's a yeah. wee bit bigger than the seventy-four than the executive, and a wee bit smaller than the eighty-five. Almost exactly the same as an executive. Ah, that's a perfect size then, because it's very slim as well. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Very so sweet. yeah, fantastic little small knives for fit pocket. Really, really like them. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, only invest in a couple, go ahead and get the American ones. You know, gotcha. But okay, if you just want to, if you're, if you're just kind of curious, try one out. You know, you can just get the Chinese versions. It'll be in that twenty dollar range. Excellent so to know. Good if you know really, that. really want a, a nice one, just just bide your time and get a American one. When a thirty four OT comes out, I will be looking out for it. Definitely. I suppose we have to address the elephant in the room. Or in this what case, the, the Paddy um, has arrived. He's back in the chat, ah. and, and apparently, apparently, in spite of having gotten a, a signed waiver and release from his mm. from uh, the indentured servitude that I normally work under with him, uh, he's still complaining that I am in some way unfaithful or betraying him. I mean, how the ah. hell did that work out? I don't know. I don't know where did I, I don't see it. Where is this guy? Did he? Uh, it's 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 well up. These guys have been talking uh, nonstop uh, okay. while we were right. talking about knives. You know, it's, it's not as if we're here for. <laughs> what are we here for? <laughs> don't worry. Well, he's about only it. on loan. So it's not like I'm keeping him permanent. Yeah, yeah, but you know what he's like. Yeah, he's grumpy Sensitive. old man. Grandpa, grumpy old grumpy. Grumpy old <laughs> grandpa. Yeah, that works both ways. Yeah, well. Uh, Look at that. Yeah. So it's got scissors be, or not? 
This does not have scissors. No, All this right. is the so that, more basic. It's almost like a Spartan, I guess you'd call it. Sort of the of commander, the is it? I'm, I, is I'm the, never sure about the Wenger. Yeah, yeah, this is the Viking. Names. Which you got to love the Viking as a name for a knife. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But just your standard stuff. You got your opening layer. But a thing that's nice about the uh, the Vengers is you get that little clip blade. You know, that is pretty. Tip. It is very and pretty. Blade. And, a little and that fat beef. spear, I still i am yeah. not used to that. I'm not convinced about the fat spear, but it is its own thing, definitely. Because yeah. um, it's a different shape from the Victorian Ox, definitely. But uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty. I had a Traveler that I sold on. Um, but I only sold it on when I got an 84 millimeter with with scissors I got, when I got my golfer. And I mean, Alan was asking earlier in the chat about the tourist and uh, or I think someone was I'm not sure if it was Alan or whatever, but the tourist being a, you know, a perfect pocket carry or small knife yeah. carry. Right. And to be honest, if it doesn't have scissors, I'm not that interested. Right. But. The, the, for me, the 84 millimeter would be or 84. And when I say 84, 84, 85, Venga, whatever. If it's got scissors and 84 millimeter, 85 millimeter, it's perfect. I think, I think it's, it, it's such a shame that they stopped making them um, with the right tool what set. Your, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the, the canoper and the. Uh, well, the, to be honest, the the Wenger can open an awful lot of people. The crab call an, an awful lot of people ha, are, are very nostalgic about it. Yeah, I could never have it. Um, the screwdriver on the finger is better because it locks when you add pressure to it. Right, and it's actually a slimmer profile, I think, um, than the Victorinox one. But I never oh, got on well with the with the with the can opener, and I never had a problem with the Victorinox can opener because it's actually an additional screwdriver on it. Um, yeah, but I, honestly, I think the can opener is the, as a tool. Its day has come and long gone. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, I almost feel the same way about the bottle opener. Um, oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the uh, corkscrew. corkscrew. Oh yeah, I know. So a, a back tool Phillips, even though it's not the most useful screwdriver in the world, it's it 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 sits better in the hand. So yeah. And there's your right. blade. That's a that's a pokey thing. <laughs> Doesn't have the wedge that the the Victorian Knox does. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not quite as useful, but it probably has its own benefits, you know. Just don't so. be don't don't you be running in the corridors with that open because you'll put your eye out oh, or yeah. somebody else's. What do you think of the chain? The chain. I always thought they were quite sweet. You know, yeah. but but I can't. I, I've never quite got the use of them. I mean. <laughs> I mean, it, maybe just put a tab on it and just call it a lanyard at that point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, good point. Right. I mean, you can go with one of these little guys. Well, where did it go? Of course, it, of course, I can't find it when I need to. But ah, here we go. Are you a fan of these? Oh yeah, love them, love them. Funnily enough, I don't have any on the table in front of me, but. I do have the matching green on me Pioneer, so yeah. Oh, yes, of course, the color coordination. <laughs> very like important. Patty in you, very important to have the color coordination. <laughs> or our matching hats, come on. <laughs> I didn't know you were putting one on. It's not like we <laughs> conversed about it. <laughs> yeah, don't fake it, TK, don't fake it. Everybody knows oh, that I was under strict instructions. <laughs> yeah. Then Alan has to add this comment. Some every so there's always somebody who brings the tone down, isn't there? Yeah. Although it didn't have very far to travel, I have to say. So no, wear it like a pendant. There we go. I was thinking maybe just get my ear pierced. What do you think? That works. The dangler. But do you, you need another one on on your right nipple. Oh, well, I think shoot. I found it out. <laughs> I don't have one with near me, but I could definitely. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's a, that's a, be careful what you wish for. That's an image I'll never be able to get out of my head. Doc. <laughs> and just to address some some comments in in the uh, in the comment box, is is Alan was um, waxing lyrical about the better scissors on fingers. Alan, you're wrong, but that's okay. You're entitled. You can you can buy whatever knives you want and think that they're better, but you're still wrong. Big scissors are the best. So. Uh, and and yeah. conversation 
<laughs> we're not wearing matching pants because you have to wear pants to match them, right? Hang on a second. We had to wear pants? <laughs> well, <What? laughs> uh, the <laughs> we talked about Prince Albert yesterday. We're not uh -huh. doing that. No, they're, they're 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 doing a continuation of this. This cat, the cat, I saw the cat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not seeing one there. I think he's all right. Just the cat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The f the funny thing is, Stephen Fry actually tells a story about doing a lineup at one of the Royal uh, Royal Variety performances in London, and. Uh, mm. He was talking. He was talking to Prince Charles, and Prince Charles. I don't know how young he was at the time or whatever, but he actually asked Stephen Fry, "What is a Prince Albert? I mean, he oh, is my great great grandfather, no. but what is it?" <laughs> Stephen oh, Fry actually no. told him then. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the poor Fry would be put in that position. <laughs> what All have right, we got so next? Is it me? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? Now this is one of uh, Mike Curtis's favorites. Are you uh, are you familiar with Mike Curtis? I'm familiar with Mike Curtis. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's he and Mrs. C are going through an ordeal. She's got cancer right now. Oh so man, dealing with that. So uh, my yeah, thoughts go out to those two. But yeah, this is one of his favorite patterns. This is a Case Peanut, another very pocketable knife for the fifth pocket. Um, this was a replacement was for the one i got before that was absolutely horrible had gaps oh yes i remember you, you saying about that so and this is a jackknife so both of them open from the same end yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> just a, a small jackknife and uh yeah peanut because it the frame kind of looks like a peanut that's, that's beautiful nice name. the blades are lovely actually that we sort of turkish or california clip that's yeah, I one. think this is like the first case knife that I have that doesn't have mirror polished blades. Was that a satin? Yeah, it's more of a satin finish. So this is you know, nice. a little more affordable knife. I think they're only just a little over forty dollars. So if you're looking for you know a case and you don't want to spend a bunch, it's kind of a good option. Absolutely. Hold the seventy four millimeter up against that, would you? Because I, I can't. It's the 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 size differential. It's it's just getting an idea of this. So it is about the same size. A wee bit smaller, maybe. It's so hard to do on camera, but yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same size. Yeah. yeah. That's a lovely wee carry. Yeah, fantastic. A little uh, fifth pocket. I can just measure it for you. It's two and seven eighths, thereabout. Lovely. Yeah, so definitely under that three inch mark. But, you know, I don't have like a ton of peanuts. I just have, I actually only have one other one that's like a Zippo branded one because of course Zippo nice. being the uh parent company to case and it's a single blade so it's kind of nice well i suppose i suppose it's time i mean i can bring up my my sort of variation on that which is another case so back pocket carry for judge oh man elon i told <laughs> you i wouldn't have to i wouldn't have to say anything absolutely not so that's that's a sort of that's even smaller, I think, than yours. So it's that's a case. Yeah, the, that's and the 30, thirty-three pattern. Yeah. So yeah, really. And small. this is one that Gunslinger Cal sent me as a, as a gift. Can you do you want to switch the knife cam there? Well, sure. And it's just a lovely wee knife, a beautiful wee knife, razor sharp, and the jigging on that. I'm not sure if it's bone or Delrin or whatever. But it's just gorgeous. Really, nice. really, really pretty. Yeah, it looks like the jig del run. Yeah, and absolutely tiny, but it's, a, it's just a perfect wee piece, which, funnily enough, is how people have often described me. Yeah. Um, Sexy beast that you are. <laughs> now, stop it, TK. You know that that turns me on. Stop you, know you're, you know this is going to be the most watched video of all time now. <laughs> I've well, God help their sense. God help their sense. So, but that, I mean, even in, in terms of a comparison, it's not, it's smaller than the one that you were talking about. So it's, yeah. than the peanut. Right. But it's just a little bit bigger than a 58 mil. Right. And a little bit smaller than a 74. Yeah. 
and it's so slim it's so it's such a fine knife it's beautifully beautifully made so kudos and props to gunslinger cal for sending that one over yeah, to me that, that was, was that was a massive. really beautiful surprise yeah, yeah, yeah. right but i'm i'm doubling up here so i'm going to do for my last vic okay. and seeing as you did the venger in 85 i'm going to do an alox in red because it's gorgeous apart from anything else but look at that look at how slim that is yes you know that there's nothing there's just nothing there and this is the bantam so again i really need to clean my knives especially if i'm appearing in public but there you go that's the bantam simplest tool set you could ever want a knife bottle opener and a screwdriver and to be honest i mean I know you guys all have screw tops over in the states, and but we still have, we still open a beer with a with a bottle opener. So and and, yeah. and I like to drink from a bottle. So it's it is. I always tend to carry a knife with a with a with a cap lifter on it. But this cap lifter, the combo tool cap lifter, I think in my book is the best cap lifter there is. Okay. Um, and so it's you just for that one over the uh, standard. over the standard yeah cap lifter and screwdriver uh, version. It's not as good a screwdriver. But it's it still serves its purpose, and that's the that's the bantam. It's my favorite wallet carry because that slips in and you don't even know it's there. Right, it's fantastic. Yeah, it, is, it is super slim. Yeah, you just get the single yeah. layer on it. Now, what does that say on the blade edge there? I didn't quite catch what that. You was. know, I, I, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's eight thousand Freunde, so it's oh, some it's German a thing. German thing. It must be a special edition. I, I bought it second hand and um so it must have been a i think it was a collector's group and when they got to the eight thousand members they uh, okay. they issued you this okay so, that makes sense fantastic all right well so, carry you won't on believe it, that, but we're, uh... we're, we're here coming up on an hour yeah <laughs> and we still haven't finished good grief what else yeah, have you got i got a couple more i got a couple more so we have to continue on with this a locks theme we have the red a locks that's a beauty. And talk about slim. Yeah. Not much to that. Though I will say it's probably no more slim than that a locks you just showed. But then again, you get the standard standard blades again. Very nice. And the lovely little scissors that you just can't live without. Very nice. So that's a set. That's is that a seventy four mil? No, this is fifty eight. Fifty eight again. Yeah. Very nice. The companion. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't have any uh, any of that. Uh, the, the you know the smooth Alux ones, the Alux ones. Pardon me. Yeah. I must get some. And everyone's been talking about this one. So Recruit. We must get into that one. Well. Seeing as you went there. So <laughs> you're gonna go grab yours now. Yeah, well mine's this is this is just because I know that you won't be able to resist a a toffee colored <laughs> uh -oh. of course. Toffee my yeah, toffee my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> but there you have the, the most basic of blade sets and then course no back tools on this one yeah so makes it and do you and do, do you find the back that it's actually much more comfortable without the back tools to use uh yeah in hand if you're doing something hard you know hard use i would say yeah definitely makes a difference but i've never i've never really had much of a problem even with like the you know something with this with the corkscrew because that is yeah. pretty smooth though or i mean it's not hurting you that bad but being left-handed, maybe that's an advantage. I don't know. Maybe. No, yeah, it might be. Might be, but it's just. I think it's just an aesthetics thing more than anything else. I like the smooth backs. That's why I like the uh, the A-lock so much because they don't have the back tools. But and but the recruit is the only one in Celador that doesn't have any back tools. With the crack on me now. I would say the advantage goes to the right-hander on the comfort. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's never been an issue really. Yeah, but you know, just like it's it's more like an a locks with that 
lack of back tools. So kind of a nice uh, alternative. Well, it, I mean, it's exactly the same tool set as the Cadet, except it's got a secondary blade. So right. the Cadet's right. got the nail file. So the Cadet's more like the the, the tourist. Yeah. Um, so. But, you know, just thought I'd show that since that was. Uh, it was a sweet one. One of the ones that people seem to admire the most in the smaller size. Why is my camera being a jerk? <laughs> uh, we've lost you. TK, come oh, back. Okay. Come back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so Which that's me. That that's all my Vic's done. So I'm gonna go on to I've got two more traditionals here. Um so I'll put both of them up. What the heck? And uh. What do we these are to these are just lovely. These are just lovely wee knives. One's a Barlow, one's a case Barlow, and check out that wee shield. Not sweet. That is nice. Federal. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely quality. There's, it's seen a wee bit of wear. This one came from Stephen originally. Actually, it was one is of the first. green bone I'm seeing or blue? I can't. It's really blue, see. actually. It is that. That is the blue. So yeah. Okay. It's very very nice. Oh, that was from Stephen. Yeah, it was one of the first knives that we that he exchanged that he gave me. Uh, you know, as as part of our exchanges, and uh, that's what that, I suppose it's one of the first ones that started me on this. Down another tangent that has kept me going on this knife collecting malarkey so there you go yeah and then and th so what this is, is that is that a did you say i don't know in terms of the model is it it is a six one zero zero nine zero zero nine okay so or yeah, there's yes yeah, ss right single blade with the spear point yeah i know that's nice you don't, you don't see that many of them actually i have to say and then this one is just, I, this is like my precious. It is lovely. It's a GC. And it is, it's, I mean, it's the jig bone. It's garnet jig bone. And it's a 49 model or pattern. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It is nice. I love the, uh, the threading on that bolster. Yeah. It really, yeah, the, the three, what do you call them, rat tails or whatever rings let's call them rings yeah it's simple I'm, and, and i mean that, that those are two precious green knives and again i mean they're they're actually closer to the 84 millimeter you know they're ver they're, they're basically 84 mil so same size as the bantam yeah so they're still in that pocket size yeah but they're two pretty knives. I'm very pleased to have them both. I have to, I'll admit they don't get an awful lot of uh, uh, they don't get an awful lot of car carry. But every now and again, if I'm wearing a suit or I'm out somewhere special, I'll drop it into the pocket, and that's the one I'll carry. You know. And yes, Jesse, it is my precious. Yes, ah, <laughs> you said it. Fantastic. I was so happy when Slippy got the precious a locks. Have yeah. you seen this one? Because then I forced him to say that as well. But they have a whole series of precious A locks, you know. I don't know what are they uh maybe about twenty percent more expensive or something. Yeah. Than just your yeah. regular A locks. And just and you're paying for a little bit more shine. Yeah, Mind you, that's not more. unusual in this community, it has to be said. Nah, <laughs> no, it isn't. A lot of people playing for bling. Yeah, totally. So that's that. That's my all my my Vix and uh, traditionals. I've got two moderns. If you want to go that way, what else have you got, Thrifty? Are you well, done? I've got others I could show, but I think we're getting kind of close to wrapping it up. Yeah. You want to? We were probably going to do a giveaway today. Well, let's move on to that. That that that'll do lovely. I think we've covered it. You a good want range. to? Uh, let's have you write down a number before we do anything else. All right. All right, and it determine your range, but don't announce the range yet. It's just as well I have a pen on me, isn't it? Yeah. I've only Get had your a signature out. Paper. Get your Vic signature out. What's the the range? You decide, and then you you tell us after we put up the rules. 
between 700 and 800. Well, he hadn't put the rules up yet, but okay. <laughs> All right, put the rules up, Randy, if you're still in there. And we want to know everybody who's in the UK. So let uh, let us know if you're in the UK. I know I see a couple guys that are. Sean is for sure. Elon is. What else we got in here from the UK? Make sure you announce you're from the UK so we know you're. Uh, Mikey's in here still. Okay, good. Gaz. Excellent. Make your presence known. So we've got at least four. Can I enter my own draw? No, you can't enter your own draw. It's the only way I win. <laughs> <laughs> Randy wins all the time. You know why? Because he enters all the time. That's how that works. If you enter a lot, you win a lot. I I, I enter a lot, but I never win. I mean, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm obvious. Ah. I need some of Randy's luck. That's what that what what it is. All right. Sprinkle some luck on you, you leprechaun. Yeah. Again, it's back to the incident with Mrs. Claus. Ever, ever since then. <laughs> yeah. You guys need to get into. Uh, a little better relationship. Uh, it it yeah. upsets me that you and Santa have had parted ways. Don't worry. There, we're going into counseling in, in a couple of weeks. So uh, hopefully that will resolve our differences and uh, exonerate any wrongdoing on my part. I mean, right. misunderstandings and misunderstanding. Thank you for coming in, Patty. Appreciate it, buddy. Good Thanks, Stephen. All right. So, do you want to show what, what can be won today? Certainly. Open it on the knife cam. Looky, looky. All right. So, so this is going to be a choice of one of these three, correct? Yeah. To, and to I'm, not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do. No, I'm not going to do two, three spins or anything. You get, you get one chance. But we're not doing any spinning, so there's no, no, no chance spin. of losing here. Whoever wins gets one of these. So you no. choose which one you want. Okay. We've got a we've got a Rough Rider uh, Green My Card Trapper. We've got a Taylor's Eyewitness Barlow, and we've got a Bantam. Okay, Alox Bantam. I know which one I wouldn't pick if I was the lucky recipient of the winning number. <laughs> it's making a question you've already got them, and you don't like trappers. If I, am I right? Uh... They're not my favorite. I don't mind single bladed trappers. I just don't yeah. like the second blade on them. Oh, you mean the uh, spay? The spay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and start guessing or in proxying for these guys. And the number range again was what? So you usually do it between a hundred, between uh, don't you? Whatever, well, you already wrote your number down, right? So you tell yeah. me what you did. What was your range there? Between uh, 700 and 800. There you 700 and 800. Here we go. All right. Start your guessing. Put the start up. <coughs> I'm just checking to remember. And where do we email you? Where do we email you to to get the address, mailing address for you? Uh, it's a good point. Yes. Well, you have my email address, don't you? Uh, yeah, I don't know by heart though. You just tell, tell me, I'll yeah. put it in the chat. Get on Judd965, JUD965. I'll put it in actually. I can post a comment. Okay. Actually, will we use the other one? <laughs> Dave says, Thrifty Knifty must have had a childhood incident involving a spade blade that scarred him for life. No, I, I've never had any kind of <laughs> just. I mean, I was circumcised. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> was it a spade blade? <laughs> I don't know what they used. I don't know. Thrifty, for some reason, that's not that that's not posting that comment. Okay, so go ahead and tell me what it is, and I'll help it's you out here. J Stevens one at live .co .uk. J Stevens. Spell with the PH. 
Or yes. Yeah, with okay. the PH. All right. If I put it in here and it's wrong, correct me. Okay. Jay Stevens oh, one. And then what? At live.co.uk. Live.co.uk. All right. Verify before before we put it up on the top there. How do we do that? Right. Yep. That's it. All right. There we go. There's the address you want to email Judd, your mailing address, if you happen to be the winner. All right. Are we done now? I think we can throw the stops up. We've got our UK guesses in. So we'll go ahead and throw the stop signs up there. Rando. There we go. We got the stop. Ooh. Okay, Judd, what did you have, sir? What did you have, kind sir? What was your number? Seven. Ooh. 27? Is that what yep. I see? Okay, 727. I think Sean was 722 there. Sean was 722, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean 726 as well. 725 for Sean. <laughs> yeah, he was all over it, wasn't he? Okay, so I think 726 was the closest then. Yep. And that went to Sean from Radar, so... A big shout out to Radar for uh, proxying Sean. So, Sean, you won. And make sure you uh, email Judd. Now, which knife do you want? Just let me know in the chat. I'll keep it aside for you. Yeah, let's, let's find out what knife you wanted here. What you did you want, Sean? Ooh, Sean... Uh, Love you, man. That means that my postage is going to be kept down to an absolute minimum. <laughs> That's class. Has he guessed it yet or said so yet? Yeah, he said he wants the Bantam. Oh, no, sorry. That's No, that, that was some That was a recommendation. Was yeah, yeah. Recommendation. Sean, don't be pressured. No peer pressure. Yeah, just get what you want. You can almost hear them chanting in the cheap seats, yeah. you know? John, get the get this one. Get this get one. Get this. Get this. Get, one. this. get this. I know which one I'd pick. Can you guess what I would pick? Hey, because I already have a band of mini locks. <laughs> yeah, I put a and I can't get enough barless. So, <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's. That's what he wants. Okay. So you got Good. the bar. I'll send that out to you, Sean. You email me your address. I'll get that out as soon as I can. All right. So let's start up uh, the new rules for the U.S. And I think I'm just going to pull up the picker wheel. Give me a moment. Guess we can just take that off the screen now. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> you see that all right? Yeah, we can see that all right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do between, well, I won't say yet. Go ahead and throw the rules up, Randy. Did you do that? Okay. So the the range is going to be between 300 and 400. 300 and 400 is our range today. And there's the number on top of my hat. So, what do you think, Judd? Did you have a good time? I enjoyed myself thoroughly, TK. Right. Always a pleasure. I didn't, try to, I didn't want to make it too difficult for you. I didn't want to do anything that was going to require you to do any extra work or anything. I just... Uh, you know I me, you know me so well. Am I that, am I that transparent? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... We're, we're probably not going to do anything next week. Just really couldn't find a... Any one of that I wanted to interrupt their inner Easter weekend. 
So probably taking next week off. And oh, you deserve come, it, back, kiddo. come back strong the following week. Absolutely. Well, Slippy will be back. All bronzed and uh, adventurous. Oh yeah, I can't imagine. I mean, what are the what's the what do you think the weather's like there? Wet. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's very. It, I mean, as far as I know, it's very like the UK, but it's it's just more exotic. I mean, it's 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 I mean it's, it's heaven on earth. New Zealand is is sort of pretty much so. Yeah, I love it. It's one of our our, our go to places when. When my wife and I retire, that's that. That's one of the, uh, our destinations on our bucket list. So definitely. Right. Okay. Don't. Uh... <laughs> Don't you saw that with... tweet. <laughs> Sorry. Did what you see that tweet from Mikey Newman? <laughs> oh, what has Mikey said here? Can we keep Judd? Oh, that's so. That's right. Nobody doesn't mean it. He, he means, can you keep him? over that side of the pond and out of their mm. way, I think is what they mean. Right. <laughs> They've never been so happy that Slippy's 13 hours away. No, I already missed the guy. I know. We've got to get him. Oh, right. He has to get back. Surely yeah. he could do a, surely he could do an international. He yeah, got some we could. Wi-Fi. Yeah. If, if he was in a, you know, place where he wasn't trying to visit family. So, we well, already do it internationally, right? Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, what, what's another couple of thousand miles? Right. Are we showing knives? Yeah, we, well, we kind of already did, Warthog. You want to get a quick overview of what we showed already? Just a real quick recap, Judd. What have we showed? What did we show? Go to knife cam there, and you've got it. You've got them all. Oh, you want to? I already took it off. <laughs> just, all right. Just hold it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yes. And the two we didn't get to. Oh, the two we didn't get to. What was the two we didn't get to? Spider Cool Dragonfly oh, and a the baby banner. The baby banner. Okay. All right. Baby banner is a good one. It's a cracker. There you go, Rick. That was one I showed. A little peanut. One you would like. Smaller frontier. Nice. Alox companion. Vanger Viking. This is my. Uh, Nipple piercing blade. <laughs> My titty carry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, a thing now? I don't know. I'm going to make it a thing. Hashtag titty carry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, I think I threw up a little bit in my mouth there. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, War Dog. That's what you missed. <laughs> All right, so put up a stop. Let's see who uh, who won this thing. Did we get any numbers? Yeah. Are we, we all distracted numbers. by the yeah, titty well, I think comment? I think we've been going too long, longer than we needed to. Oh, nipple carry. That's what Caleb says. There we go. That'll work. Hashtag a nipple, nipple knife. Carry. Yeah, there you go. That could be something. Good. All right. <laughs> Four stops. There we go. All right. So the number was. You want to help me with this, Judd? I don't know if you can. What we got? We've got three one nine three three nineteen. That's three hundred nineteen. I should have been a Bengal caller in another life. Three four. We got three twenty one for Kathleen. That's the closest I see far so far. Three twenty two for Gary Lyman. 318 for Gingerfish, 75. So it's Gingerfish so far.
I think it's ginger fish with 318. You're right. Yep. Just one away at ginger fish. So ginger fish 75. Nice that's, that's, that's definitely a, uh, a new winner and not one we've had before. So you definitely need to email me your uh, mailing address. Ginger Fisher. Let's put up uh, the mailing address. Get that on there. Thriftykinniffy at gmail.com. Good job, buddy. There you go, Gingerfish. That's where you need to email me your mailing address. And I know I don't have it, so that's going to be imperative that you do that. And then I will send out whatever you win here. So let's get two spins of the wheel, if we will. You need to put the wheel up, Justin? Yeah, I'll get it up. Otherwise, I won't believe you. <laughs> Especially if it lands on the evil elf again. Why is this not working? There we go. Mm. Okay, so the Buck 311 Kingsman donated by Singing Toad. Thank you, Check Singing it out. Toad. All right. Nice wee recurve on that. Yeah. It's a nice one. Okay, so number 21, the Kingsman. And here's your second spin. Every You've been shunned by the knife community. You use, lose this spin. No prize awarded. All right. So you get the one knife there. Gingerbread. Ginger fish. Ginger, ginger fish. Ginger fish. <laughs> not gingerbread. Sorry about that. Ginger fisher, I think it is. Ginger fisher. You got the uh, buck. So congratulations to you for that. It's a good win. And yeah, just make sure you email me so that I can get that prize out to you. Let's get this off the screen and show that again. I don't know why that got messed up. There we go. Yeah, technology. What are you going to do? I don't know. Let's put that up again. Let's keep it on the screen for a bit. All right, there you go, Ginger Fish. All right, so next week again, we're not going to be having a show because, uh, yeah, Easter. And I don't want to interrupt people's holiday there, so... We're just going to be skipping out next week, and then the following week, we'll have Slippy back. But I appreciate uh, Judd coming on with us today, filling in, talking about our smaller knives. I think they're just fantastic carries. Uh, I, certainly something I can do every winter, just uh, as a ritual. Now I'll just carry a smaller knife in my fifth pocket, and uh, I think, how do you go about your normal carry when you when you're taking a smaller knife? Just well, I mean, slide it in, just make it simple and put it in the front pocket. Yep, fifth pocket seems to be the easy, easiest way to go. The, the thing I like about it is is that it's dead easy to take an extra one with you. You know, you can have one in your in your pouch, in your in your EDC pouch or whatever else, or your wallet. Right. Yeah. But it's always nice to be able to step another uh, step another knife into the fifth pocket just as a wee extra. And I, I like doing that. But yeah. TK, absolute pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, Hope it didn't make too much trouble. No, it wasn't at all. And I just hope everybody enjoyed the show. You know, just kind of takes you a little bit out of your comfort zone when you have to try to, you know, a one-time show never never works with the other person. So I hope everybody was enthusiastic about what we showed today. And well, they were certainly vocal in the chat, that's for sure. Yeah, they definitely had a good time. And I apologize for all the small jokes, but you seem to have a lot of fun with it. So, <laughs> oh, I definitely did. <laughs> take, it on, take it on the chin and keep on rolling. But thanks for Patty for coming in and let, let, lending you out for a week. But I'll be looking forward to seeing you Thursday. You guys going to be on Thursday? Yeah, we're going to be on Thursday again. Okay, and we've so. got, I think we've got Michael Duplessis on Thursday. So, custom knife, knife maker from South Africa. And uh, it, it should be an interesting conversation because every time we get somebody on who actually does this for a business, 
for a, right. for a living. You know, it yeah. always makes for an interesting conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing that. I hope you guys do too. So go check out the Patty and Pals on Thursday. What time is that? Come on. one thirty Central Time, I want to say. Central Time, yeah, and 7.30 UK. 7.30 UK. Okay. And, yeah, we're going to be back to uh, 4.30 p.m. next week, guys. We'll be back to normal time. So that our, even though we're not having a show next week, we will be back to that 4.30 time slot in the U.K. Everything kind of back to that six-hour difference between the Central and uh, U.K. time. So next week or next show will be at 4.30 p.m. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. For Judd, thank you very much for coming along. This Cheers, TK. Slippy and Thrifty Show, even though the Judd and Thrifty Show. And we look forward to having uh, Slippy back in due time. But uh, thanks, guys, for coming, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Take it easy, guys. Bye.